smoke detectors, sprinklers, and other technological advancements are credited for the life-saving role they play during home and office fires. Flame retardants are also an important part of the fire safety toolbox, yet they go unnoticed and in some cases are misunderstood. Flame retardants can provide an important layer of protection and help stop or slow the spread of fire by making buildings, furniture, cars, and planes more fire resistant. You see two different uh, chairs free burning. Researcher and former firefighter instructor Dr. Matt Blaze explains his recent independent analysis drawn from a National Institute of Justice funded arson study. The analysis speaks to the difference flame retardants can make when they're used in household furniture. The take home message from this work is that uh, over the past 50 years, fires in homes have decreased dramatically. And at the same time, they've decreased, um, the amount of flammable materials in homes has increased dramatically. And a major reason for the reduction in the fires is the fact that flame retardants have been incorporated into so many materials in the home that stops the fires from happening. It used to be that uh, cigarettes were the number one cause of these types of fires. That has declined because technology of cigarettes has changed. If you don't continually draw on a cigarette now, it's self-extinguishing. If you have children, um, the highest risk of fire in the homes these days actually involves children playing with flammable materials, playing with lighters, playing with matches. And you don't want them to be the victim of the fire. What we detected or found in our study was that when we had a flame retardant in just the foam, it delayed the free burning or flash over state of a fire, which is where it gets really, really big, uh, by up to six to seven minutes. So that's a significant amount of time. So during this time, you have lots of smoke being produced. Uh, the smoke triggers your alarm. You have time to evacuate the house. Without the foam being fire retardant, in three minutes, the room's in flash over. So by the time you're awake and ready to leave the building, the house has got such a large fire going, you can't get out. This video is a representation of two of our tests where we looked at a flame retardant foam with a normal cover, which is not fire protected, and a non-protected foam with a non-protected cover. They both use small ignition sources. In this case, we used a source that's the size of, say, a candle or a butane lighter. And what you can see here, several minutes into the test, that the flame on the right, which is the unprotected couch or chair, is free burning. It's putting out lots and lots of energy. As a result, all the other items in the room are gonna catch on fire because heat release rate determines how fire spreads in a room. Heat release rate is how fast is it burning. And you can still see that on the left, you have a very small fire going. What you're really seeing there is just the cover burning because the foam is protected and it's much, much slower. Eventually, there'll be enough heat just in the cover burning that the foam will catch on fire. But it's going to be much later into the event. You'll have lots of time to escape or put the fire out. Uh, basically, it's a much safer condition. An important lesson we learned from this study was that layered defense against fire is going to pre prevent these furnishings from catching fire. When you have a fire protected cover over a fire protected foam, the furniture doesn't burn, even with a large ignition source. The fires go out in a few seconds, and that's important for home safety. In this set of videos, you see two different uh, chairs free burning. We used a large ignition source, uh, 19 kilowatts, like a big wad of papers burning on a chair. And in the case on the left, you have a fully protected uh, couch. You have a cover that's flame retardant and the foam that's flame retardant. And on the right, you have a case where there's no fire protection. And you can see that the case on the right is a very rapid growing fire. You're going to completely consume all the energy in that, that chair very, very quickly. As a result, you're releasing a lot of energy into the room and everything else catches on fire. And what I mean by that is your curtains catch on fire, uh, your rugs on fire, anything else that's flammable in the room will catch on fire. So it grows very quickly. You're in flashover and you can't get out of the room. Whereas the case on the left, you can see that the flames are out, there's some smoke. Um, basically, you had a non-event, there's not a fire. Thanks to this independent research, we have a better idea of the protection flame retardants provide in modern life. Like other elements of fire safety, 
Flame retardants can help slow or prevent the spread of fire and help save lives.